I can sell the beer. This is the dry county. At Midway Express in Berea, manager Kamalas Patel says he turns away at least 20 people a week who come in thinking they can buy alcohol. Sometimes my customer mad too. And he say, why? I say, I don't know. This is, I have no control. Uh, if you need, you go to the next the BP gas station, they start the Richmond. But more than likely for him, that has now come to an end. According to election results, 67% of the more than 14,000 voters who voted in the county voted yes. 33% voted no. Patel says being able to sell alcohol will help his business succeed. Other residents say it'll help them save on gas and ease their frustration when they try to find a place near where they live that sells alcohol. But Richmond could be in real couldn't. It really made no sense to me. For the last eight months, business owners and residents have been petitioning to get the question on the ballot with hopes that if it did, the rest of the community would also be on board. This Apollo Pizza location is in Little Sack, which is in what was a dry part of the county. The co-owner, Wesley Brown, tells me this vote means they can stay in business. Even though it does okay, the effort we pour into this location is so much more and the return is so much less. Now we're going to invest in it. Now we're going to build something even better. Brown says a full service restaurant is what makes them the most profit. When they sell alcohol, they sell more food and people want to stay longer. We'll apply for a license the first day they become available. It's a couple months down the road. We hope to be wet here. Um, by the end of the summer. According to Jill Williams, the county's deputy judge executive, after the election is certified, it'll take 60 days before anyone can apply for an alcohol license through the state's alcoholic beverage control. Williams also says the county will create an ordinance that'll align with what Richmond and Berea have in place, but that overall the ABC has the authority. Mariah Congito, WKYT.